Oh, it's been a bad few hours for old Uncle Joe, but first and foremost, we're going to get to the big decision that came down just not that long ago. That was after his first defeat of the day, but Joe Biden's, yeah, the private vaccine mandate, it got scrapped, okay? And there was, if you guys remember, when we talked about this Monday, I think, something like that, but there were two, two aspects of the vaccine mandate that were up there for deliberations for the Supreme Court to decide on, and yeah, uh, like was anticipated, okay, the or the healthcare side of it, the CMS aspect of it, it ended up narrowly passing, okay? And as for the private business, it was actually a 6-3 decision. Yeah, all the conservative justices sided with that. I find that to be uh, a little bit shocking, okay, based on the questions that were asked, but when it came to the um, healthcare provider side of things, uh, where there isn't an opt-out, and it is in fact just a strict vaccine mandate that one was a little bit less shocking because yeah they the cms is the right place to be enforcing that and i still don't think it's the right thing to do but it is within their purview to do it so we're gonna have to see what the fallout of that's gonna be because we've already seen hundreds if not thousands at this point of resignations from different healthcare providers or healthcare services okay and just kick people to the side so we're gonna see what's gonna happen there because that's eventually just gonna start to trickle down and maybe you're gonna get those admissions like the one that you see out in california where it's like oh okay yeah we're they short staffed so much that we're letting back people um that have been infected with the coof okay they're allowed to come in um as long as they're vaccinated though so it's like do they really even know what the fuck is going on no not really but before we get into the opinion that's here by the supreme court and this one might be a long one okay and it's going to be pretty heavy on the law stuff but let's get um word from joe biden uh who really wasn't taking it well okay so biden called for the ruling on private businesses disappointing in a statement on thursday afternoon but added that the decision to keep the health care mandate will save lives sure it will forcing people to do something just because you say that they should do it will definitely save lives and not you know it infringe on anybody's rights and liberties definitely no no definitely not this emergency standard allowed employers to require vaccinations or to, to permit workers to refuse to be vaccinated as so long as they tested once a week on their dime and those tests aren't cheap and they aren't even readily available they're just sitting millions of them in a warehouse somewhere and uh wore a mask at work yeah a little a little gold one that they can wear on their face for easy identification a very modest burden still it's a burden that you can't do okay or at least it's not within the purview of osha's regulations okay uh, and, uh, but he continues on, as a result of the court's decision, it is now up to the states and individual employers to determine whether to make their workplaces as safe as possible for employees. Um, yeah, and this is something else that I did braced everybody for because it seemed very, very obvious, okay, and there's no way I can take credit for this, but it's already just set the precedent for different private businesses to do whatever they want oh my private business i can go ahead and infringe on other constitutional rights about your medical privacy no it's totally up to them they can do whatever they want and whether their businesses will be safe for consumers during this pandemic by requiring employees to take a simple and effective step to getting vaccinated yeah sure whatever yeah vaccine safe and effective don't look any deeper than that but let's take a look at what the supreme court has decided so far and mark my words on this one this is the one that I will tell you and that I will stake my claim on. This right here, this shit kicking in the courts is going to be the justification and then just the mounting failures for Biden. This is going to be the inciting act that forces Joe Biden to start looking seriously, a lot more seriously than he has in the past, to packing the Supreme Court, okay? Literally everything in his agenda that he hasn't been able to fucking weasel through, something that he'd have to go through, you know, like the legislative process in order to pass, it has failed tremendously. There's nothing standing in his way to packing the court. Right now, they have the simple majority in the Senate, which is kind of tenuous to say the least, but we'll talk about that in a moment. To theoretically start adding justices, because all they need, thanks to Harry Reid's Senate, God rest your soul, you fucking hack. 
No, it went from confirming a Supreme Court justice where you needed, I think it was three-fifths or two-thirds majority, one of the two. You need 60-some in order to get them confirmed to, yep, nope, passing it. All you need is a simple majority. So as of right now, you have it, but you don't really have two senators in your pocket as much as you'd like to think. So that's going to be up next on Cap for the Democrats for the remainder of the time in 2022. But like I said, we're going to be focusing on this ruling right here because things could change going forward. But as of right now, federally mandated vaccine police state for private businesses ain't going to happen. Supreme Court on Thursday blocked the Biden administration's COVID-19 vaccine mandate for private businesses, but decided to let the separate regulation that requires healthcare workers to get the vaccine take effect. In a 6-3 ruling, that's the only thing that I found surprising. I figured it'd be 5-4 and Kavanaugh would side, or Roberts, probably Roberts, okay? Roberts would end up siding with the liberals, but that wasn't the case. But spoiler, those were the two that ended up siding with the liberal justices for a healthcare worker side of this. But yes, the 6-3 ruling justices halted the mandate for all private employers with 100 or more workers ruling the states and companies will, oh, that challenge the rule were likely to succeed. Likely because they don't want to have to deal with that. And if it's something specific to states, they wouldn't be the court of first appeal. So you know what, if we have to deal on it later, it's like, eh, we'll just figure out something. It's one of those ways of saying, hey, um, Supreme Court of what pick a state out there. We already said that, yeah, you know what, eh, you can kind of do what you want. So just don't kick it up to us because we don't really have the time. We'd rather just, you know, deal with other superfluous cases that don't really have any real consequence because that's what this court is all about. So if you guys could just go ahead and figure this out beforehand, that would be great. Thanks. But administration officials had argued that the Occupational Safety and Health Act, OSHA of 1970, very up to date and very, very prescient in its uh, powers, especially of uh, foreseeing what was happening with the coup, right? Well, no, apparently that didn't pass the uh, high watermark. Mm, gave them the authority to impose the mandate, but the majority of justices disagreed. Yeah, and if you were listening to oral arguments or a little bit more of an in-depth coverage of that when we talked about it, I'm pretty sure it was on Monday. That just wasn't terribly relevant this go-around. Applicants are likely to succeed on the merits of their claim that the secretary lacked authority to impose the mandate. Uh, administrative agencies are creatures of statute. Uh, they accordingly uh, possess only the authority that Congress has provided. The secretary has ordered 84 million Americans to either obtain a COVID vaccine or undergo weekly medical testing at their own expense. That's the thing. Either getting the test or the vaccine is a medical procedure. And that's what's tenuous. Forcing somebody to do a medical procedure against their will is not within the purview of a federal agency, okay? And it's definitely not for OSHA. They regulate employers, not employees. That's very important to note. And something else that was pointed out during those oral arguments was the Biden administration going from place to place trying to shop their federal mandate without just trying to drop it because Biden knows he can't rule by executive order as much as he continues to try to do so. This is no everyday exercise of federal power. It is instead a significant encroachment on the lives and healths of a vast number of employees, the majority wrote in the slip opinion. The slip opinion? Interesting. The ruling came from Justices John Roberts and Samuel Alito, who would be a W. Bush nominees, Clarence Thomas, H.W. Bush nominees, and Gorsuch, Kavanaugh, and Barrett, all Trump nominees. Cool. Justices Breyer, a Clinton nominee, and stupid Sotomayor and fat-necked Kagan, our Obama nominees, dissented. They wrote in their dissent, I'm sure, uh, hopefully it was penned by Breyer, because he is definitely the best writer, but probably the best thinker in that group. Funnily enough, is Sotomayor, who's, it's not high praise, it's not high praise, but Breyer's lost his fucking lid, but he is about 80, so... Let's see what's up. Uh, the majority imposed a limit found no place in the governing statute, they asserted. Not so, the majority rejoined. It is the text of the agency's organic act that repeatedly makes clear that OSHA is charged with regulating occupational hazards and the safety and health of employees. So yes, they can tell the employers what to do in regards to keeping the employees safe. They can't tell employees directly. They can't supersede the managerial structure of the employers. Well, Solicitor General Elizabeth uh, Preliger, 
in the earlier brief, did not dispute that OSHA is limited, or limited to regulating work-related dangers. She claimed that the risk of contracting COVID uh, qualifies as such a danger. Yeah, but wouldn't qualify how much of a danger it was, but whatever. Uh, we cannot agree, the majority continued. Although COVID-19 is a risk that occurs in many workplaces, it is not an occupational hazard in most. Yeah. Yeah, because it's not specific to workplaces, okay? You can get it fucking walking down the street, theoretically. I just don't know if you could cite the case, but it's something that also, you know, it depends on which outlet you read. It could just jump out from behind a fucking bush. I don't know. That's a joke, YouTube. Fuckers. Uh, COVID-19 can and does spread at home and schools, during sports events, and everywhere else that people gather. Yeah, exactly. The kind of universal risk is no different than the day-to-day -day dangers that all face from crime, air pollution, or the number of communicable diseases permitting OSHA to regulate the hazards of uh, daily life simply because most Americans have jobs and face those same risks, while on the clock would significantly expand OSHA's regulatory authority without clear congressional authorization. Yeah, exactly. You want to try this shit? Pass it through the legislature. Pass it through Congress. No, you aren't going to do that because you know that you don't have the votes? Well, you can't just fucking rule from on high. Sucks to suck. You know what? I'm probably going to use this picture in my thumbnail. I don't know for sure yet, but I want to know what was funny, what was said, because like most of these people are laughing and um, maybe it was something stupid that Barrett said because she's just looking off screen. It's like, I don't know what, what's going on, but they almost look like real people in that picture. And it's kind of, kind of heartwarming just a little bit, but I don't want to give the Supreme Court too much deference, except a couple of them really like a couple of them. The ruling means the mandate is blocked uh, while the cases go back to the United States Court of Appeals for the Sixth uh, Circuit, which overturned a stay that had been imposed by different appeals courts. Yeah, so they just reaffirmed the stay, okay? That's what that was. So the decision that the Sixth Circuit Court levied in late December... It holds true. Missouri Attorney General Eric Schmidt, a Republican who brought one of the challenges against the mandate, said the statement, oh, said in a statement, the ruling was a massive win for millions of workers and businesses across the country, including Doolittle Manufacturing here in Missouri. Thanks for the local reference. Hopefully you got a big pop. Uh, who would have had to shutter their doors if the mandate was not halted. While we're disappointed in the Supreme Court's ruling on our lawsuit against the healthcare worker vaccine mandate, this is far, f or this fight is far from over, and the case is still ongoing. Uh, Schmidt was referring to the majority of justices agreeing to lift lower court orders that blocked a separate Biden administration mandate imposing or imposed by the Department of Health and Human Services Center for Medicare and Medicaid Services (CMS). That will be referred to, therefore, as going forward. Uh, the CMS mandate, which does not allow a testing opt-out, it is you are there, you get fucking jabbed, deal with it, or. Take your stethoscope and go out blood pressure checks for sandwiches. You just can't be here if you don't submit to the jab. But that, yeah, that covers over 17 million healthcare workers. Thanks for being heroes a year and a half ago. But as of right now, yeah, you're totally dispensable. Go um, take your dancing skills and go fuck off. Uh, Congress granted authority to the health secretary to promulgate as a condition of the health care facility's participation in Medicare and Medicaid requirements that he or she finds necessary in the interest of the health and safety of the individuals who are furnished services in the institution, the majority of the court said in their ruling. While a vaccine requirement has never been imposed, we agree that the uh, government that the secretary's rules fall within the authorities of Congress has inferred upon him. Yeah, like I said, the CMS is the right institution to be doing this as much as I personally disagree with it and as much as a lot of people also disagree with it it's just that's the law so that's why Eric Schmidt and several other attorney generals from different states out there 26 of which tried to stay this order beforehand and I think okay based on this rule because it would have kicked it back down so again 26 of those states would have had that stay so I don't know where they stand maybe they get into that as well but they disagree with the authority that they have there so then they're going to try different lawsuits in order to get it across okay just like Biden's going to try different institutions in order to get his federal jab mandate or otherwise he's just going to try to say try to get some of his other friends and big big businesses to impose it on his proxy authority justices falsely said that getting covid vaccine would substantially reduce the likelihood of healthcare workers will contract the virus and transmit it to their patients yeah 
it's like a very obvious tell that the justices um get their opinions from the new york times because i'm pretty sure that they're still running with that or at least they did for a while and that's pretty much exactly where all of their uh, fact acquiring research begins and ends the rule thus fits neatly within the language of the statute after all ensuring that providers take steps to avoid transmitting a dangerous virus dangerous can we quantify that uh to their patients is consistent with the fundamental principle of the medical profession first do no harm Ugh. it would be a very opposite and efficient and effective administration or a fact or a facility that is supposed to make people well to make them sick with the coof whatever this isn't binding legislation so again exactly with the same thing okay up top that supreme court decision the stay that was issued by the sixth court of appeals is so you know whatever but again this one's a little bit more contentious all things considered in the landscape of the legal rulings themselves in the narrow 5-4 opinion, saw Roberts and Kavanaugh. Exactly. God, it would have been so much better if he would have just got hung on those Me Too allegations or if he would have, you know, what, recused himself from it. But whatever. I joined the Democrat uh, trio while Thomas, or Thomas offered the dissent and was joined by Alito, Gorsuch, and Barrett. You can tell the ones that I like and that you should too, especially Thomas. And I'm glad that he offered the dissent. Thomas said that the government had not made a strong case that is likely to succeed in the case, arguing the administration did not establish that the Medicare Act or any other law gives the authority to impose a vaccine mandate in order for facilities to participate in Medicare or Medicaid. That's where the fight will continue going forward. These cases are not about the efficacy or importance of the vaccines. Oh, good, because that would also not be the best place to dig your heels in if you, you know, are trying to side with that. Uh, they're only about whether CMS has a statutory authority to force healthcare workers by coercing their employees to undergo a medical procedure they do not want and cannot undo because the government has not made a strong showing that Congress gave CMS that broad authority, I would deny the stays pending appeal. I, I respectfully dissent, as written by Clarence Thomas. So once again, that's one of those tip of the caps where it's like, you know what, if you guys just wanted to attack this from a different way, you know, going after the authority, uh, if, you go, if you guys won't come at it that way, uh, I'd take a look at that case and you might be a little bit more likely to achieve your, uh, achieve your goal if you did it that way, just saying. Cases involving healthcare uh, mandates will now go back to the appeals court for disposition. Biden in a statement said that, oh yeah, uh, healthcare workers are uh, going to save lives, but hey, guess what? <laughs> Better luck next time, stupid. But like I said, that wasn't the only big L of the day. Uh, I think we talked about it yesterday. I'm pretty sure all of these days start to run together and all of these news stories are about the same <laughs> lol old man loses. But yeah, uh, as he was trying to get rid of the filibuster and pass his voting right act, eh, fail again. So we're going to talk about that coming up next. With that said, thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Consuelo. I want you to follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.